Welcome to the PPL Week 6. This week, our team, the Wolverhampton Weaviles, take on the mighty Minneapolis Meowskaradas and their coach, Daria. I'm feeling pumped after last week's game against Druby, so let's hope we can get another W under our belt today. As you can see on screen, both teams, we've made some changes to the squad. Had a full revamp, to be quite honest. I won't go into much detail on why I changed things, but on screen now, you can see what's been done. The team I built to go against Daria is as follows. The mighty Palafin comes once again, this time with a covert cloak cell with bulk up and taunt. The idea is that we can hit hard with jet punch, but if that Milotic comes, we can set up all over it. But will I remember to taunt, preventing the move Haze? Next up, we have Thunderous Fury, which does really well in this matchup, able to take on a lot of threats on her team. I have agility just to try and get the edge on the iron bundle, but let's see if I can pull it off. Third, we have Iron Moth with a nifty substitute set, with all the coverage we need in Fiery Dance, Energy Ball, and Psychic. We also have booster energy and speed to outspeed non-scarf iron bundle too. Next we have one of our newcomers to the team, Scrafty. With the assault vest and investments I've made, it's pretty much a perfect counter to iron bundle amongst other things, with the ability to phase with dragon tail and deal 50% damage with super fang. Another newcomer to the team, Klefki, joins the fray today with a brilliant anti-king gambit strategy, and spikes to punish switching around as well. Finally we have another newcomer and our terror captain this game, Noivern. With choice, Scarf outspeeds everything on her team, barring Scarf Bind Bundle, of course. But luckily, we have Frisk to scout that out. The idea is to Terra Normal and spam Boombas, pretty much, so let's see how that goes. But anyway, that is the squad for week 6. Wish me luck, and with that being said, let's jump into the game. Okay, Daria has brought a pretty powerful team. I'm, I'm glad to see that Milotic, because it means this um, Palafin is is not 100% not over. But they've brought both the Terra Captains, Ogapan with the Grass Terra, and uh, Colossal with the Fairy, Water, and Ghost Terra potential. Um, now, this team has been built very thoroughly. It should do alright because um, she's pretty much brought every single Pokemon that we thought she would bring. So, I'm wondering what they're going to lead with, though. Uh, hmm, hmm. Now, I, I say we can lead Palafin. They might just lead Ogapon straight away, though, and get a big hit on something. That's the problem. So we might be better off leading with Thunderous, predicting the Ogre on lead. Uh, I've got 20 seconds left. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go for a Noivern lead. And then we can just kind of like U-turn if they, if they do what it said. Let's go with a Noivern lead. I don't think we've got U-turn, actually. Oh, well. It's great. Let's just go with a Noivern lead. It's a strong lead, anyway. And the battle begins. Good luck. Have fun, Daria. So they're going to lead off with Drone, which is the Iron Bundle, as I led off with my Noivern very good lead on their part. Um, we don't want to... They are Choice Scarf. That's good to know. Good to know straight away that they're Choice Scarf. Which means that um, we don't... We do get out of sped here. So, that's unfortunate that they're Choice Scarf. Uh, however, it's not the end of the world. So, they're probably going to go for a flip turn, if, if anything, right? So, we should go... Um, Scrafty's really good here. It's Assault Vest and everything. So, we can definitely take a hit. Uh, Scrafty's definitely the best Pokemon I can go into here, right? It's, it's literally brought for this thing. So, I guess Scrafty it is. At least we know it's Choice Scarf now as well. That's really good to know straight away. Um, some good info right there. So, we're going to Kerrang the Scrafty. Nice and shiny. You got a lot. Um, they do go for a flip turn, as you would expect, which is fine. I guess we could have gone for it. I, don't, I, didn't, you could, I wasn't going to go for a U-turn turn one, predicting him to go for a flip turn, though, was I? Not really. Not really. Dari is a really, really good battler. She's so good. I've been watching her games, and you know what? I'm amazed. I'm amazed, and I'm also really worried. Bird Mother comes in. Who's Bird Mother? Oh, Zapdos. Of course it's Zapdos. Who else would it be? The other bird, Iron Bundle, is in the back. <laughs> so, Zapdos is in. Um, what do we do here? We're going to have to make a switch, I think. Uh, I guess, I mean, our best switch is definitely going to be Thunderous here. That's for sure. Um, we have to go Thunderous. They, they're probably going to go for a U-turn predicting that. I guarantee she's brought a U-turn over Volt Switch because of the Thunderous. Um, in which case, is it better off with... No. I say we still go Thunderous here. I say we still go Thunderous. So, Scrafty, come back. Let's go into good old Thunderous Therian. There we go. Thunderous Therian comes in. They do go for a U-turn as expected. Now, we aren't Sash, so luckily no Sash is broken there. No Sash is broken there. So, I'm wondering what she's going to bring in now. Smoke Show comes in. That's the uh, Colossal. Interesting. So, we could, if we had it, Volt Switch straight away. Um, we could also Grass Knot. It kind of heavy. Um, we definitely don't want to stay in, though, really. Uh, we're probably better off going Palafin. 
Palafin. If they predict if they predict that on Willow though, on the Palafin, that's it, we're screwed. We are boned. Um it might be good to get the Palafin in though. It might be good to get the Palafin in. That could be a good option. They wouldn't expect us to go Palafin just purely off the fact that we could do that. Um so let's go let's go Palafin. It might be some unnecessary damage here if they go for a Stone Edge, but at least we can then just like hard switch out and have our hero form ready to go. So we'll go All Might real quick. Palafin's in. And they go for a Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock is good. That's good. That's a good play on their heart. Um, we don't... Well, Stealth Rock is kind of a pain, but um, we don't have a Hazard Clearer on this particular team. So um, now I'm going to hard switch again. They're either going to Willow or... Or... They're going to hard switch into Ogre Pond or Zapdos. Uh, Zapdos. I could see Zapdos coming in. I really could. We're going to have to switch out anyway. Um, so I'm just trying to decide what I think she's going to go for. Um, Ogre Pond or Zapdos. Is Clef Key the answer? They have, brought the, they have brought the King Gambit. I say we bring Scrafty in. Scrafty, if he gets burned, it's got the Shed Skin. So it can definitely heal itself from a burn if she does decide to go for a Willow. Which I doubt she will. Because... I was obviously going to switch there. They actually withdraw themselves. Okay. She's going to bring in Hypnotic. What's Hypnotic? I can't remember the link names. Milotic. Ah, okay. That's cool. Milotic. Oh, it is Flame Body. So it's got that Marvel scale. Um, I say... I say we go for a Super Fang here and just get some big damage off on something. Uh, Alluring Voice. That's fine. We can take that. We can take that. We go for a Super Fang. That's great. Alluring Voice is interesting, actually, because um, now if we go Palafin and we bulk up. Oh, no, no. We got the Covert Cloak, so we're fine. We always go Palafin here. So we withdraw Scrafty and we go Palafin. Palafin doesn't have to worry about being burned by Skull because of the Covert Cloak, which is great. Stones do dig in, which is unfortunate. But we are in a hero form now, so we're pretty bulky. As predicted, they go for a recover. After a super fang like that, it opened up a good position for us with Palafin. So, not the worst play I've ever made in my life. Um, do we want to bulk up here? Let's bulk up here. Let's bulk up here. We bulk up. She stays in. Probably to go for a Skull or an Alluring Voice, one of the two. This is great. Alluring voice, that's fine. We take that, like a champ. And look, no confusion, because Covert Cloak, Co -co Covert Cloak. Let's go for another bull cut real quick, and we'll get to plus two. We are looking good. Bull cut comes through again. Are we really setting up right now? Like all over this Milotic face? Haze, ah, oh, they brought Haze. Good play. Good play. Haze, recover, alluring voice, and probably scold. Probably scold. So now, I should have taunted anyway. Um now we move, we make the taunt we make the taunt play. They withdraw. Okay, so she's withdrawn their Malotic. Um Bird Mother comes in, that's a zap dose. We get the taunt off on the zap dose, which is nice, because it means it can't do anything like Thunder Wave or. Oh, like that. We'll save Palafin for later. We'll save Palafin for later. We just go Thunderous here all the time. We've got Heavy G Boots, so we don't care about the Stealth Rocks at least. Um, they might actually go for a Thunderbolt here, just trying to get the damage off on Palafin. Even though Thunderous is an obvious switch. There's the U-turn. So the U-turn comes through. Now, Thunderous is EV'd in a way where it can live a Choice Scarf, or a non-boosted anyway, in Special Attack. Uh, Iron Bundles freeze dry. It's whether they have Ice Beam or not. Yeah, Drone comes in. That's fine. So Drone is in. I know for a fact I can take this thing out with a Thunderbolt. I'm pretty confident. So let's go for a Thunderbolt here. I know we can live a freeze dry. They go for a flip turn. That's fine. We get a free Thunderbolt off on something. We're going to get some damage off, which is nice. Damage is nice. Damage is really nice. Smoke Show comes in. That's the Colossal. We get a free Thunderbolt on this thing. That's nice. There we go. Thunderbolt comes through. Watch them be cell battery. No, they're not cell battery. 
Okay, um, let's go ahead and get out of here because this thing is a threat. Now, what do we go into? It's not time for... It's, it's, it could be time for Scrafty here. I'm going to go Scrafty because, again, Scrafty doesn't care if it gets burned. If we withdraw the Thunderous, that's great. And we go Scrafty and we're just going to go for a Drain Punch. A nice and simple Drain Punch here. Again, we've got Shed Skin. We don't care about Static too much. We don't care about Flame Body. Nothing. We want some health back, though. Stone Edge, that's fine. Yep, not good. it's not doing nearly enough damage. We go. For, we could go for a big knockoff right here, or we can go for a Drain Punch. If if she goes Zapdos, Drain Punch ain't going to do anything. I think we're better off going for a knockoff here. Yeah, I'm going to go for a knockoff. Get 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 rid of something's item. That's going to be useful. It's going to be really useful here. They withdraw the Colossal, as you would expect in the face of a fighting type. They go my low tick. That's nice. We get the knockoff on the Flame Mob, which is all right. There's the knockoff. That's fine. Flame Orb's gone. There's the bit of chip damage as well. We're going to have to go for a, a recover here. So we can get a free Thunderbolt off on something. I say we go Thunderous. I'm going to go Thunderous because I'm, I'm predicting a recover here. And then Thunderous gets a free Thunderbolt on whatever it wants. Pretty much. Which is nice. So they go for an alluring voice, which is interesting. So they was going to go straight for the KO on the Scrafty. Makes sense. I thought they might predict the um, Palafin switch. But this is even better because it means, like I said before, we get a free Thunderbolt off on something, which is potentially a free par Paralysis. So we go for a Thunderbolt here. They can't bring the Colossal in because it'll get two shotted by the Thunderbolt from the health it's at. And this thing doesn't want to take it. Milotic does not want to take this. Okay, she redraws the Milotic. What's she going to go into? Smoke Show again. Smoke Show comes in. Now, Smoke Show... Oh, wait, no. I don't think it is too shotted by Thunderbolt. It's not. It's not too shotted by Thunderbolt. But it's still big damage. It's still big damage, which we are, we, we are, we are thankful for. Big damage. Big damage. So, now what? Do they go for a Stone Edge? She's got Stealth Rocks, Stone Edge, probably Rapid Spin, and then maybe Will-O-Wisp? Maybe Will-O-Wisp. Will is a big potential. Big potential right there. Um, I guess we do have to go Scrafty at this point. So I am going to go Scrafty. Again, Scrafty doesn't care if it gets burned. But I think she goes for a Stone Edge here anyway. So we'll go into Scrafty. Like so. Stones do dig in, which is unfortunate. She withdraws Smoke Show to go into... Bird Mother, the uh, Zapdos. Good play. Now, does she go... Right. She probably expects us to switch, right? So, she probably goes for a U-turn because Thunderous is a free switch here again. So, I think this time, we go for a knockoff on the Zapdos. I'm pretty confident we can have a U-turn and that means we get a free knockoff on something else. There's the U-turn. We should live. We do live, which is great. Free knockoff. A free knockoff on the uh, Milotic is going to be big. Because Milotic then can't... Uh, well, it has to alluring voice our Scrafty. It can't risk the recover because of reasons. There's Hypnotic again. Let's see how much knockoff does. There's the knockoff. No damage, of course. But after burn, she's pretty much like has to go for a recover here, right? She has to go for a recover, otherwise we get a free switch in with Thunderous. I think it's time we go... I think we go Thunderous again. I think Thunderous is a good switch. I really do. I, I really think she goes for a recover this time. So we preserve Scrafty. We can use it as Death Fodder later. Because we have no Spinner. She, do, she does go for a recover, which is good. There's the health all coming back to that Milo tick. But it's nice and burned, which is good. Um, so no le no lefties every turn. Um, we go for a Thunderbolt here every time. She withdraws Milo tick. That's fine. What's she going to go into, though? Smoke Show again. Smoke Show gets two shots at here. Which is good. We, that means we get the first KO, right? Yeah, we go, we go straight for a Thunderbolt here again. There's no reason not to. She can't tear her into anything that'll benefit her. So now it's, it's, it's a matter of whether Ogre Pond's going to come in and 
do its uh, terror stuff. So that's the first KO, which is great on Colossal. All right, Dole comes in. Is that going to be the Ogre Palm? It is. We can expect a terror here. Now, do we expect a knockoff, and do we do anything about it? Um, I guess I guess we could go Scrafty. Scrafty's not a bad shout. Scrafty is not a bad shout here. At all. I say we fodder Scrafty off here. I'm going to fodder Scrafty off. I'm going to fodder Scrafty off. Now, the great thing about this is that um, we can use Klefki to defeat this Ogre Palm if it terrors. Because we have got the foul play. So, Stones dig into Kerrang. And Scrafty, unfortunately, does meet its end here. But it did pretty well this game. Give a round of applause to Scrafty, everyone. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's five for five right now. She does terror. As you would expect. There's no reason not to terror Ogre Palm immediately. So, there we go. There's the terror. And hopefully, we don't see a Swords Dance here. Because there's the Embody Aspect, which is going to boost its speed. And there's the Wood Hammer. So, Wood Hammer was coming our way. Which would have probably KO'd us, to be fair. So, now, now, looking at her team, looking at what's on her team, left, we've got a few options. So, we could go Neuvern here. Um, just to frisk what item it's got for a start. And also, because we can just go for a U-turn. Or we can go Iron Moth. The problem with Iron Moth is that it's boosted speed, but it gets outsped by Iron Bundle with Scarf. So it's like, eh. But at the same time, what's our option? So, I think our best option is going to be Neuven. And we Terra Normal Boom Burst. I think that is the best option we can go for here. Just get much damage off as possible on the Ogre Pond. Stones do dig in. And they are Miracle Seed. Okay. So we Terra Normal here and we Boom Burst. Because she's probably going to go for a Play Rough or switch out into King Gambit. But Terra Normal Boom Burst here does loads to everything on the team except from King Gambit. So we Terra Normal Boom Burst here. Because we didn't need Dragon Stab. They do withdraw. What's she going to go into though? King Gambit? Third mother. Ooh, Zapdos comes in. Nice. This should be a two shot. This should be a two shot unless it's AV. Unless the Zapdos is AV, we should be two shotting here. So there's the Terra Normal. There's the Terra Normal. We're going to get some immediate damage off on this Zapdos. Some big damage. As there we go, the Boom Burst comes through. That's a two shot. That's a two shot right there. Oh, wait, the Berry. It's a healing berry as well. Now it's not a two-shot. Oh, wait, no, it might be. I think it is. I think that's still a two-shot, right? Boom Burst comes through. She does stay in. Let's see if this KOs. It doesn't KO. That's fine. I, I, I should have I realized. Ancient Power. Unfortunately, that was not the best move to go for there. If she has an Electric-type move, she should have gone for it. Because now we get a Boom Burst off again. And she has to go King Gambit here, but King Gambit will take some unnecessary damage if she does do that. And we can just go Klefki. She does withdraw the Zapdos. Are we going to get some big damage off on King Gambit? Unless it's AV, of course. There's Daddy. The King Gambit comes in. We go for a Boom Burst. Should still do a nice little chunk. Yeah, that's a nice little chunk right there. That was a crit. Oh, that's a nice crit right there. Nice crit. We go Klefki all the time here. So we withdraw. We're going to go Klefki. We'll go Klefki. Heartphelia comes in. Stones do dig in. Kauto Cleave comes through. Does no damage, of course. And we get the Rocky Helmet Chip, which is big. So. What do we do here? So I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We. Um, expect a Swords Dance and Iron Defense. We Iron Defense, they stay in with the King Gambit, probably to Swords Dance. There's the Swords Dance, that's great. So we match the boost, we match the boost so the Kauto Cleave's not going to do with more damage. Now that they've um, added the Swords Dance to them, let's go for a Foul Play. Foul Play comes through, we outspeed. Not KO, but nearly does the trick. And there's the extra Swords Dance, awesome. 
Awesome. Awesome. We foul play again 100% because we can live a sucker punch, no problem. Okay, so they have got a Custa Berry, which is interesting. And that allows her to go for an Iron Head, which is going to sting quite a bit. And then the Rocky Helmet is going to take her, her out. So King Gambit goes down. Daddy goes down. But getting the King Gambit out of the way is good for us. It's really good for us. So foul play obviously misses. Can't do anything about that. Hypnotic, the um, Milotic comes in. That's fine. Milotic well, can come in. We know we can't set up. It's not a coil set or anything daft like that. So let's go for a spikes. Let's get the spikes up. We'll start hitting them on the switches. So spikes is up. And if we can, if we, if they go for a recover here, if they go for a recover, we're all right. So they go for a skull. That's fine. That's going to take us out. We got a layer of spikes up. Klefki goes down. That's fine. It's punch for punch this game. It's punch for punch. This is great. I, I'm actually really enjoying this game. <laughs> really enjoying this game. Now we go, we go Thunderous, because Thunderous A doesn't take Stealth Rock damage. And B, we can just go for a Thunderbolt here, and we should be good. So let's go for a Thunderbolt. We can live a Skull, no problem. They withdraw the Milotic, probably to go into Ogre Pond or Zapdos. Yeah, Bird Mother comes in. It's fine. Sacking off the Zapdos is great, great play. Great play. However, we still have Palafin in the back, which is looking pretty decent right now. Doll comes in, that's the Ogre Pond. That's great. Ogapon comes in. He gets some spikes damage, which is nice. There's the embody aspect boosting his speed. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I think Iron Moth is the way to go forward here. I think Iron Moth is the way to go. Um, if we assume they go for a play rough or a knockoff, we should go Iron Moth. It might be a bit risky, but at least then we get a switch into Ogapon if not. Like I said, it's risky, but Iron Moth is a good switch. They ha they could have Stomping Tantrum. I realize this now. But I'm not going to let that stop me. So Stealth Rock is going to dig in. Stealth Rock dig in. We get the booster energy, which is cool. Awesome, in fact, in the speed. Wood Hammer comes through. That's fine. That's going to give him some recoil. But we do four times resist this, so we should take it. We do take it like a champ. We take it like a champ. There's the recoil. So now it's a speed tie. It's a speed tie right here. So do we sub or do we fiery dance? I think we fiery dance, right? I think we always fiery dance here. She withdraws the doll. She withdraws Ogre Palm. It's a speed tie. She just doesn't want to risk it. That's fair enough. So Hypnotic, the Milotic comes in. Which is awesome. Get some spikes damage, which is great. If we get a special attack boost here. And depending on the fiery dance damage. Okay, so that did not do much damage at all. It did boost our special attack though. So, now after the burn, I'm pretty confident in an energy ball KO. I am pretty confident in that. Um, she might go for a haze instead. Get rid of our booster energy and speed. I think a haze gets rid of that, right? I think we go straight for an energy ball here. Energy ball comes through. At plus one, it should do a lot. It does KO. So, Milotic goes down, which is great. Milotic goes down, which is great. We're, we're making strides here. We're making strides. Drone comes in. That is the Iron Bundle. That is the Iron Bundle. Gets hurt by spikes. What's our switch? What's our switch? Nothing, right? We have to go um, Thunderous and, and sack Thunderous off. We sack Thunderous off. We sack Thunderous off. And then we... Um... Huh. She probably goes for a flip turn anyway. Because flip turn will KO Iron off. Do we need Iron Moth? Because the Ogre Pond's probably got Stomping Tantrum. Right? So, we don't need the we don't need the Iron Moth. She probably goes for a Flip Turn. So, we go for a Fiery Dance just in case uh, Flip Turn doesn't KO for whatever reason. It should do, though. Yeah, it does. So, Flip Turn KOs Iron Moth. That's fine. Iron Moth was too weak to deal with the Ogre Pond anyway. Way too weak. Way too weak. Right, Doll comes in. That's great. Spikes are going to go into it, which is great. There's the embody aspect, which is also great. So, we're Terra Normal now, so we don't take as much Stealth Rock damage, which is good. So, do we Palafin Jet Punch to weaken it a bit more? But she might have Horn Leech. That's the problem. She might have Horn Leech. Um, I could say screw it and go Thunderous, but based on the um, 
the wood hammer damage to a four times resisted hit on Nia Moth. I say that's a bad idea. I'd say our best idea here is to go Noivern. I think Noivern is the best option here. We outspeed here and we can go for a Boom Burst. And Boom Burst might KO. It might do the job. It might do the job. You know? Obviously, we know it's got a uh, Miracle Seed already. That's fine. Um, Boom Burst does way more damage than Flamethrower here all the time. Boom Burst comes through. She can't switch out here because Iron Bundle goes down. And Ogre Pond lives with a sliver. A sliver of HP. And takes us out of a Horn Leech. It doesn't work. <laughs> As if I should have U-turned into Thunderous and then Boom Bursted. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done right there. So now it's all down to Palafin, I guess. Uh, Palafin is adamant. We have to hope and pray that um, Palafin's Jet Punch can KO here. We have to hope and pray. After Stealth Rocks, we do not live a freeze dry. I think she might have won this one. We go for a Jet Punch here. We move. Jet Punch comes through. Can we get a KO? We do. We do get a KO. That's nice. That's clean. That was a crit as well. I don't think the crit mad. It might have done though. I haven't damage calc. I haven't calc, so that might have mad. Either way, the Ogre Pond goes down. Now, I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. It's adamant after all. We're, we, are, we are an adamant Palafin because we won't worry too much about the speed. But there's the drone. There's the drone. Now, our own. Uh, we have got EVs. We have got EVs to take a freeze dry. I can't remember the calc though. So it depends on whether. We, if, if, if we can live a freeze dry here from a choice scarfed, probably timid iron bundle, and drain punch it, we get a KO, we win. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's the only way we win. It's the only way we win. There's the freeze dry. Can we live? We live! We live in! No freeze! Drain punch! <laughs> Palafin! Palafin, 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 Palafin! Yes! Yes! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is GG. That is GG right there. GG Daria. I was so worried about this game, and it was such a great battle. Such a great battle. You don't know how scared I was. I, I sounded American then. How scared I was. You don't know how scared I was for this game. All right? I was so scared because I've been watching Daria's videos. She is so good at this game. She's so analytical. Everything. I, I can't sing her praise enough. And we won. Barely. Amazing. G. G.